Welcome back to My Scrappy Ideas. This is Tina Gell and today I am so excited to finally be cutting into my new paper from Coco Vanilla. This is the Hello Lovely line and you can get it at My Scraps and More. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful collection. They have a girl collection, this one, and then a boy collection as well. And Audrey's gotten it in and it was sold out and she's ordered more and so just keep checking back in the store if it's not there right now but it it should be restocked by the time this video airs um, but I really think this is probably my favorite collection maybe ever I'm not sure so let's get to the layout I started with a piece of craft card stock and I'm following a sketch from the um, hip kit Facebook page and it just had these circles stitched in the background and so I just went and grabbed some bowls and some plates and kind of traced around them and I'm trying to just get like three or four different loops and the bowls weren't really the size that I was wanting and so I, I drew one of each that I will follow and then I just kind of hand drew my other one in so that I can just kind of sketch it out and then I'm going to take my piercing tool and just start poking stitching holes and I'm just going to do a back stitch so I'm just putting them pretty close together um, probably about an eighth of an inch apart and I won't bore you with all of that but that's what I'm doing here is just I have my piercing tool my foam mat underneath and I'm just poking holes on top of those lines and then I will go back and erase all of my pencil lines and start stitching and when I stitch I use embroidery floss and this time I used kind of a cream colored embroidery floss I wanted it to stand out off of the craft card stock but um, not too too much and there's not by the time I finish it I know there's not going to be a lot of it showing but it's enough to really give a nice effect to the layout and so when I stitch when I'm doing a running stitch like this I normally use two strands of embroidery floss and then I took my Heidi Swap Color Shine, this is the teal, and I was wanting to kind of just emphasize those circles again, so I grabbed a paintbrush off my table and just started kind of putting circles. And the paintbrush wasn't really a great one, and so then I used the nozzle, the little pokey thing, the nozzle that goes down in there. And then I go back with the paintbrush again, and in the end I like it because most of it covers up. I just wanted that hint of that teal coming up underneath all of my flowers and stuff. But I will definitely go and find my nicer paintbrushes and put in my collection now because I, I know I'll be doing this again. Um, I'm not a messy, inky person, but I've gotten these new um, color shines. And I enjoy playing with them and kind of in my own way. I won't, I won't ever, okay, I shouldn't say ever. I, I don't see myself ever doing a lot of the messy stuff and the stencils and the, the paste and the textures and the gessos and all of that. Because another thing too, this buckles your paper and that just irritates me to no end. Um, this one buckled a little bit, but... I was able to kind of flatten it out and once it goes in the album I think it'll be fine and that was just using a little bit so I can't imagine doing a whole lot okay so here's where I kind of laid my photos out and I decide oh, there's not quite as much showing as what I wanted and so I go back and add just a little bit more and and try to fix it up like I said this was a really bad paintbrush so um, and I have a lot of nicer ones so I will I will definitely go pick out my other brushes and stick up here so that I can do this again. So I just did random circles around and then I had my two photos and I put them together and I matted those and I pop dotted those up and then originally I had all of these flowers from the die cut sheet and I was going to fill up the right hand side of that circle with all the flowers and you'll see here in a minute when I start kind of putting them in and then I had this from the sticker sheet that says I simply adore you and so I was going to kind of put it there and then just fill up like a bouquet of flowers coming from the photo. But after I get them on there and I play with them a little bit, I decide that I like it much better just following the outside edge of the circle and and not filling up the inside of it. That makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense and you'll see what I do. 
And so I'll, I'll move all those inside flowers out in a minute. And then I just move that I simply adore you sticker over um, where it crosses into the photo and on that. Okay, so here we go. And so this is where I've decided now nope, I like it on the outside where I can see a little bit more of that misting color and stuff. And then for my title, I had the word sweet, which that was from the ephemera pack. And then I just got some thickers out and spelled out toots for sweet toots which that's a long story that goes back to a movie and stuff. But my daughter would always sit and kind of chew on her toes. She wasn't like sucking on them. She would just like chew like a pacifier or something like that, um, teething ring. And so this story is just about how the very first time that we saw her in the first sonogram that we did when they let us know that she was a girl, she was in the same position except for she had both feet up to her face and she had a hold of her foot and it was in her mouth and she was sitting there sucking her toes and so I just wanted to tell that story of from inside the womb and even months later after she was born she was still chewing and chewing on her toes and so I just thought it was so funny and just so amazing that you can see in these sonograms and how personalities of babies are there from the very beginning and what they're going to do. So that's where my title came from. Then I had this other little uh, flowers from the ephemera pack and I decided to stick those over. Um, actually it was from the sticker sheet. I put those over on the left just to kind of carry that flower over to that side. And I had taken another one and colored with the distress inks and stuff and I thought about adding more over there and then I decided against it. Um, you could certainly add a little bit more flowers to the left if you'd like that more. And then this little chevron arrow was another one from the ephemera pack. So now I'm just building up my embellishments, just trying to finish and balance off. I have this um, badge that's from the collection that says um, Snap Happy with the camera. And so I put that in with the title. I'm going to add some sequins and some other flowers and things. Everything that I used is from the Coco Vanilla Hello Lovely line. I used the, the paper, and of course, the paper, I ended up matting my photos, and so you don't see a lot of the, the pattern paper, but it is absolutely gorgeous pattern paper. So this layout's very heavily in the embellishment packs. Um, but everything came from it except for the rest of my title. That butterfly that I'm using it was one from the ephemera pack, and I just used my distressed inks to kind of color it pink. It was the off-white, and it has a text on it. So I just did that so I could get a little bit of a pink butterfly. And then I didn't order the sequins. This collection does have sequins in with it, but I had a few that were kind of the same colors, and so I... I, I didn't get them. I probably go back and will add them into my next order because I, um, if you watched my haul video, I ordered this collection and the boy collection and I tried to mix the types of embellishments that I got and get one type with the boy collection and the other type with the girl collection because I wanted it all but yet I didn't need to spend that much money and stuff. But I am going to go back and get the rest of it when it all comes into the store so I should have just ordered it to begin with because it's just I just absolutely love this paper. Um, so these sequins are actually from Crate Paper, the Maggie Holmes collection that's called Confetti and it has the darker pink and light pink flowers and it also has some larger gold ones and then the small um, till round sequins and so those are the ones I'm using but of course you can go and get the hello lovely sequins that match right in but I just popped these flowers the dark pink and the light pink around and that just kind of helped to round out that um, kind of wreath of flowers as well and then just added some of the till round sequins to uh, kind of finish off the coloring in the in the layout just to because I really don't have like three specific clusters of embellishments like normal it's all done in this circular so that's what's pulling your eye around um, now I guess you could if you really wanted to 
nitpick it, you could find the three clusters and a diagonal starting with the butterfly and then the I simply adore you tag and then the bottom cluster. Um, I'm sure you could nitpick around in different ways, but really this design element is just circular so that it keeps your eye going around and the photos are large and I added all of the pink to pull in the pink from her clothes. And then also this little bow is from, there's a package of bows, there's four different designs and different sizes, and so I added that. I absolutely adore these bows. And so here's some close-ups of this. Um, of course, I'll have all the links down below. You can also always hop over to my blog at tickerscrapplace.blogspot.com to see close-ups of the layout as well. I hope if you're not a subscriber that you will become one and click the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you'd click the like button and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.